Prologue An excerpt from the autobiography of Tom Tobin Even as an old man now, far removed from the turmoil in the East and blissfully occupied with the operations of my ranch, I think of things like the depravities committed by Espinosa, and I worry it is impossible to trust any man entirely. He is too susceptible to change, and too prone to desperation. An able lawman who becomes a crippled thief, a wronged priest turned a vindictive blasphemer. I knew of men hurting children because their own fathers hurt them, and I worry over bad and good, and whether there is such a thing as a choice. I remember a man I met once at Bent's Fort, a fellow Missourian traveling alone into the West. We all shared our suppers that evening, and I recall the man keeping especially quiet until William pulled out a few bits of pig fat and began rendering some lard. Suddenly, the man gets real excited when he sees it, and he points at it and declares, you get that lard good and boiled, and it'll burn a face clear down to the skull. At this, each one of us gets quiet. We were baffled. He had said it so innocently, so boyishly, as if in the same manner one might point out his knowledge of a star constellation, as if it were something everyone should know. So then I ask him, What do you mean? How do you know this? and a man proceeds to tell us this story about how, as a boy in St. Louis, his stepfather once got fined ten dollars for publicly beating his mother. He said the three of them had been walking down the street and leading a pack horse when the argument started, and the stepfather had simply unhooked the horse's lead rope, told the young man to hold the animal by the halter, and commenced to thrashing the poor woman with the folded-up rope. A few nights later, the stepfather began taking after her again, this time, though, in the privacy of their home. The man says when it started, he had merely ducked out of the room into the kitchen, grabbed a big pot and a couple of pounds of pig fat, and slipped outside. Then, while inside, his stepfather raged and his mother yelped. The young man made himself a little campfire in the front yard. He cooked up that pig fat, boiling it down to a fine oil, and when finally the house had quieted, he took up his pot and carried the boiling grease inside. There he found his mother unconscious on the floor, and his stepfather snoring on the couch, and the young man, so little at the time with this big pot between his hands, tiptoed over his limp mother to the couch and poured the scorching grease over his stepfather's sleeping face. I didn't know what to make of that story when I first heard it, and I still don't. I think of how Espinosa and that young partner of his shot decent fellows they didn't even know, then jabbed crucifixes into the bullet holes. I think of these things, and it occurs to me that the question is not whether a choice exists between bad and good, kindness and cruelty but whether certain men are even aware of the difference. At what point, I wonder, does it stop being revenge?